Hi everybody, my name is Marlo Letterly. I'm the owner of Continue Crafts and the maker of Scrap and Tote and Scrap and Easel. Most of you have seen Scrap and Tote, but today we're going to talk about Scrap and Easel. We just launched it last week. There have been tons of questions, so I thought, okay, you need to learn how to use your webcam and make a video. Because all we have is a prototype right now. I don't have any more than just this one. They're currently being made and we are taking pre-orders. But last time I had, when I did Scrap and Tote, I had lots of samples to send out so others did videos for me. Unfortunately, this is it, so I have to do my own video. Bear with me, I'm terrible at this, but I will give you a sense of this product, what it is, what it does. We just won't win any Academy Awards, okay? This is Scrap and Easel. And it's closed portfolio position. So it's very easily carried wherever you want to go. Take it with you. Scrap and easel. Let's see if I can get it in the video. I'm going to angle this camera slightly. You won't see all of me, but you'll see the product, and that's much more important. Okay. Scrap and easel has a Velcro tab closure. I'm going to go ahead and open it up. And then I did put in some scrapbook paper. There's about a half an inch or so of 12 by 12 paper in here. So it will hold paper, store paper, put it in scrap and easel and take it with you. It'll take your paper, tote your paper for you. Scrap and easel comes with 16 neodymium magnets. They will come in a little plastic pouch identical to this. These are very super strong magnets. You receive 16 magnets. I'm just going to leave these all closed, but 16 magnets per easel. Excuse me. So let me show you how to open the easel. Scrap and easel is a double easel. It's identical on both sides. There are two, let's see if I can show you this in the picture. So you just pop this little flap up. Actually, I've got it in the wrong position. Let me do it this way. That locks in place nice and tight. So you now are in easel position. Take the magnets and put them aside here. I'm not a crafter, and <laughs> don't laugh. Uh, I don't do scissors and glue. I make easels for all of you guys who do craft, okay? So I have four sheets of paper here, rather thick sheets of paper. I'm going to try three first because I know three works. And if you put your paper the project, whatever you're working on, on the easel, you can now move that around. And that's three thick sheets of paper, and that magnet's holding it. Let's try four. I think four will work. We'll see. Yeah, four works. That's probably about it, though. You're not going to get much more. Three works better, so let's take one piece out. So the idea here is that you have an angle, a nice angle, an easily viewed angle to work you manipulate your pieces wherever you want them to go and then you when you're finished you can glue it down it's very strong this isn't going anywhere super super strong easel so let's say you're going to work on a card we'll pretend this is a card uh, now you might be interested for to use the grid because Excuse me. Here, come on. Now this is also prototype. This whole thing is prototype. It's 99% what you're going to get if when you pre-ordered this product. Um, but I don't have an actual finished one to show you. But this is uh, close to what the ruler is going to look like. It's going to be a little bit longer and the numbers, your centimeters and inches will be screen printed on this a product very similar to this. And so it will stick, of course, to the easel and you can line up using the lines to Put your words, happy birthday, Merry Christmas, I love you, whatever you want to put. And they'll be nice and straight. The grids are both removable. They come out. So if you want to lay them on a surface and work, you can. If you have some reason you don't you know, want to use the easel and you just want to use the grid. The actual, um, this is a paper, just a pretend paper easel that they sent me, the manufacturer sent me. But the actual... Uh, grid will be a clear plastic with dark lines 
uh, screen printed on the plastic. So let's take these out for a second. I want to show you why I decided to make the grids removable. Because when you flip this product over, you have a display piece. You can now display whatever it is you just created. And we don't want those lines from the grid peeking through. Okay, So that's why we made the grids removable. Uh, the grid will also, you know, you're in display mode here. You can angle this any way you'd like and put on your television, coffee table, or just the kitchen table, or just to look at it until you're ready to put your, your pieces in a, a book or give them to whoever you made them for. But you can also put it in this position, okay, which is a stand-up position. And this is a really nice position to just sit back and look at what you just did, show your husband and the kids, hey, guys, come here and see what I just did. And also for teachers, uh, those of you who teach classes in any type of paper craft are going to love this feature, this stand-up uh, uh, feature of the easel. So let's go back into our display mode, or our easel mode again. And you put in your... 12 by 12 sheet of paper if that's what you're working on and each side has these little plastic corners that you tuck the paper into and this is hard to do upside down sorry I'm better at this when the easels turned around the other way I can't see what I'm doing from this side. All right, so now our paper's in there. Obviously, you're going to put your magnets and your design pieces. And I'm sorry, I am so untalented as a crafter, so use your imagination. This is something lovely that we're making here. Uh, get it all the way you want, obviously, and then, of course, glue it down. Each side has the four clear plastic corners. They're absolutely identical. Uh, every, you know, everything's the same on both sides. So you have the ability now to work on two pages simultaneously at an angle. Uh, how many times have you just kind of had to try to so you can, see, can actually see it when you're making it, and then when you're finished, you can flip it over a piece. To close the easel, you just simply pull up these flaps. See those little flaps? They, they, they snap in nice and tight, and then they come up just as easily, and then they fold down. And there's a magnet behind this piece, right here under where my fingers are, a rectangular shaped magnet. So this thing, you hear that little pop? It stays closed. It's not going to flop. These aren't going to flop open on you when you're carrying it around. Now you want to make sure and keep these magnets out of the reach of kids. They're they're really small and easily swallowed, and I don't know what that would do to somebody, but it can't be good to swallow magnets. So please keep these out of the reach of kids. I will have a warning label on the product, or the product that you receive in your home. But remember, they're small pieces, and it's going to come in a plastic bag, and these are things you want to recycle what you can and keep out of the reach of children anything that's dangerous, like a plastic bag or these magnets. Well, I've done this video over three times, and all three times it's been too long and too big to upload, so I'm going to end our video now. If you have any questions, you can contact me at ContainYourCrafts at AOL.com. That's C-O-N-T-A-I-N-Y-A-C-R-A-F-T-S at AOL.com. Or visit our website, www.CricutCartridgeStorage.com. Thanks for watching. I look forward to hearing from you. Bye.